the young lads that I work with are from Schem. Uh, we do a variety of different things, so we do workshops with them, we do trips out, um, try and get them into some volunteering opportunities through the club. Um, but yeah, mainly workshops and activities, um, so the workshops are stuff that's obviously affecting them in the community, so we look at like knife crime, gun crime, um, also like healthy lifestyles, um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting, it's busy. Hi, my name's Dave Oldfield, I'm a Police Chief Inspector and I work on the Violence Reduction Network. The Violence Reduction Network's aims are to basically reduce violence across Lancashire in general, reduce those going to hospitals or hospital admissions, and also to try and reduce the homicides um, that occur around the county. One of the programmes that we fund is the Divert programme, which will become the Champions programme soon. And what we do is we aim to work with young people up to the age of 25 who have been involved in violence and try to get to the root causes of why they've been involved in violence. And what we want to do is help them people make positive changes to their life, prevent them from staying involved in violence in whatever way and help them progress in life. I was, first of all, I was really naughty. Like really, really naughty, and then I went when I've joined these sessions. I've realised if, if if I don't if I keep being naughty, I won't end up in I won't end up good in life. So I so I've, I've changed my way on that. I've learned how to keep to myself. I've learned to not be arrogant, and I've learned to not be dead inappropriate and stuff. I think if you spoke to some of the young people that obviously I work with, I'd like to think, you know, obviously an increase in confidence uh, is a big one. Uh, obviously on the back of everything that's been happening over the last few years, that is a, a big tool that we want to push with them. Um, I think beyond that, obviously, it does come down to behaviour change. Um, a lot of these young people uh, experience antisocial behaviour or get involved in crime. So for us, it's about staying them away from that. Well, one of the reasons that we choose a community to do this work, in particular Wigan Athletic, is because of the passion that they show for young people, the enthusiasm that they want to work with those young people and, and help them, make them progress in life to do whatever it is they want to do. So from my perspective, to work with people who've got such high levels of enthusiasm is, is, is half the battle won already um, and I want that work to continue. Some of the main benefits of working with the Trusts are that the pathways and the community contacts and the relationships that you already have in existence in your local area are second to none really. So we want to use that to help those young people and progress faster shall we say, help them sooner, help them quicker and so the biggest benefit is using your knowledge and your expertise really. My emotions changed and then like all my anger and that's changed since, since I've been on sessions with him. But I've seen loads of difference in my confidence. I was just sat in the streets doing nothing, just out all day up bikes and everything. But when I go on the trips, I feel happy in that because I'm out every because I'm out. The pull that the club has, uh, it goes far beyond just Wigan, uh, with Skem being close to Wigan, it is a catchment area and I do feel like it is an area that is forgotten a lot of the time so the more impact that the cl club can have in an area like this, the better. I mean, here today you can see how many young people have come down, they enjoy playing football, they enjoy getting stuck in and that's what the, the impact that the club has.